Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my watercolor art haul video. I'm so excited to share with you some new goodies that I received in the mail during the week. And yep, today is the day. You might hear a little bit of background noise, that's usually the case with my videos. And I'm trying to fight the lighting right now. Um, I'm hoping it's okay. Yeah, I think you guys should be okay to see everything in natural light. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. One of my favorite Etsy art supply stores, Omnia Art Supplies, had a 25% off store-wide sale, and they also kindly shared with me a 5% off coupon from a previous purchase, so I put that towards this purchase, and I got some beautiful, new-to-me, White Knight watercolors. Oh my gosh, White Knights, I'm sorry. Look at that. All of these beautiful colors I believe dark shadows and another one yep violet mist and dark shadows is a more excuse me more recent release and recent as in like the past year or so because I'm always late to the latest and greatest so that's nothing new but I got some beautiful beautiful colors and I'm really excited to test their PG8 green so I got that there and of course PG-17 chromium green or chromium oxide is also there. And then this one right here is English red, one of my favorites. And then in the tubes, I wanted to get, honestly, I just never want to be without this color. I do have it in the pan pretty much untouched, over three and a half years old, and it's still going strong. This is Claret number 325. And so, yep, I went ahead and purchased it in the tube. Yeah. It's okay. And then another one that I went through fairly quickly. Let me see if I still have some left here. Yep, number 257. Ergazin Yellow. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I've never tried their Cobalt Blue, so I thought, why not? All right. And then Walmart had the Art Beak brand on sale for $10.99. So I went ahead and purchased, just to try it out, this block. It's a nice smaller size, 20 sheets, 140 pound cold press, 100% cotton watercolor paper. So haven't even opened it yet. And that's a big deal for me because usually I just uh, rip right into things and don't even bother recording. But I'm trying to do better with that. So <laughs> now I can understand the, the true enthusiasm that I see come through in the videos I watch, the art haul videos. So yeah, so got those got the paper and drum roll I got Hetty's box thank you so much Hetty um, this is a repeat purchase from this buyer uh, this seller excuse me on the Facebook group I told you guys about the supply watercolor trade swap group and so I purchased the set of core watercolors that she put up for sale and I'm so grateful because I would never be able to afford core watercolors any other way so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it upside down to show you guys I want to be just as surprised and I learned my lesson from the last time so <laughs> just opening things up thank you so much Hetty. I got it today and I'm so so grateful let me make sure that you guys are on autofocus lock that's my son by the way he's okay that's just how he expresses himself we got everything well packaged. Oh my gosh, Hetty. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I'm just so overwhelmed. <laughs> These watercolors are so expensive. And I have them here finally. Oh my goodness. All right, so the colors I purchased, I'll just grab them uh, one by one. I have Cobalt Teal, Burnt Sienna, Van Dyke Brown, Dioxazine Purple, Permanent Scarlet. Oh my gosh, such important colors. Ooh, and I can make pastels too, Titanium White. Diarolide Yellow, Neutral Tint, Viridian Green, Cerulean Blue, Chromium, what, P2, 
KB36 colon one. What? <laughs> Quinacridone gold. Oh my goodness. PO48 PY150. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cadmium yellow primrose. Oh, okay. PY35. PR108. Yep. Cadmium red medium. Oh my goodness. Raw sienna. Such a good color for mixing. Thalo blue. Thalo blue green shade. Yep. PB153. Payne's gray. Wow. Quinacridone magenta. I saw Sketches and Scrubs um, do some uh, swatching the other day, and I believe the Quinacridone magenta was one of them. Transparent Pyro Orange, PO71. Oh my goodness. Sap Green. Uh, what is this? Oh, Permanent Alizarin Crimson. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Ultramarine. Yes. Nick Nickel Azel Yellow. Raw Umber and Green Gold. Wow, PY129. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is amazing. Should I swatch them on the Art Beak? Yes. Yes, I should. <laughs> I'm actually in the process of putting the paints in the pans. Some of these colors come spewing right out, but I was kind of prepared for that because I've seen other people's videos and experiences with this brand. And let me tell you, Hattie's generosity is just, I'm very, very grateful to be experiencing these paints. A little messy. I went ahead and just tore off the cover of the Art Beak block, but here it is. And I'm using the Dollar Tree brand blue painter's tape. This is what it looks like. And so, yeah, it's been about an hour since I pressed the stop button just because I couldn't help it. I just had to swatch. So I have about 21 or 22 colors here and there are 26 spaces for swatching here with some mixing as well. So, all right, I'll be back. everyone it is now Saturday afternoon my Friday definitely got away from me and what can I say by the time I sat back down to begin to swatch the colors it was already past 9 39 45 so I'm going to be editing the video in a way where it'll be in a time lapse and I hope you guys don't mind um, so I went ahead and decided to save everything to show you guys as much as possible in real time so let's go ahead and do the pre reveal together 
this paper is definitely different and I'm still not too sure if I'm going to be able to, um, if I want to buy it again. Definitely got some leaking of colors there, but I think that was more my fault because I'm very heavy handed, but these colors, as you can see, are very, very beautiful. Definitely got some tearing of the paper. Yep, down towards the bottom. I'm still going to try my best to share an art video with you guys, and that might also be, you know, time lapsed as well. But you can see these colors are absolutely stunning. They're like popping off the paper, at least to me they are, and oh, that's a shame. That is a shame because I really wanted to like this paper. So, yeah. The last three colors that you see down here are my own convenience mixtures. You guys already know how I feel about these kinds of purples. And I was able to uh, replicate a beautiful undersea greenish type of green. Fairly nice with the ultramarine and the quinacridone gold. That PO48 and that quinacridone gold is everything. boy <laughs> and you'll see in the video how I wanted to do the wet on to wet with these colors yeah this paper is not I'm gonna try it with the masking tape but either way this is what the colors look like mm, I would say not the best representation if I'm keeping it real to my feelings right now
Hey everyone, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with how my snowman came out. His uh, branch is here for arms, a little wonky, but you know what? <laughs> I enjoyed every single second of painting him and I'm so glad that I recorded pretty much the entire process. Had I kept everything in real time, oh boy, over four hours of footage. I mean, the sun just set behind the mountains so i have a very limited amount of time to get those beautiful pictures and natural daylight for the community tab and also for the thumbnail so let's go ahead and do a peel reveal here um yeah i yeah i'll go ahead and cut this down give me one second okay okay so at least i'll show you this part because i have to use my paper trimmer to trim down you know, an even area for this smaller postcard size piece. Okay, I'll just trim everything down and retape the leftover piece. But you can see this masking tape from Dollar Tree works really well with this Michaels brand paper. It works well with the Bail Hong and the Meaden. Oh, this is amazing, you guys. You might hear Bert and Ernie in the background. Those are the kittens. Oh, I have two. Two sheets of paper attached to each other. Of course I do. <laughs> Shouldn't surprise me. Oh my goodness, you guys. Let me go ahead and use my paper trimmer. And um, oh man, this came out even better than I imagined. These core watercolors are absolutely amazing. This is not a review or anything, but obviously my thoughts are 100% going to be investing in this brand some more, even if it takes, you know, a couple years. <laughs> but let me go ahead and trim things down. Yeah, not too sure how I managed to not notice that there was two sheets of six by nine, but shouldn't surprise you. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and trim this down. Even with a paper trimmer, my measurements might be a little off and my camera is sideways, my table is the other way. I'm just a hot mess. Let's go ahead and um, trim this up. All right, just wanted to make sure you guys saw everything. I have a nice size art piece right there and here it is. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, there you guys have it. My art is definitely what I think about these watercolors and I didn't even use the top notch paper, but this is actually really good on the Michaels brand paper. And yeah, so once again, thank you to Hetty for the wonderful transaction and that group on Facebook, because if it wasn't for a group like that, artists like me wouldn't be able to invest in these high quality watercolors you know um the way i did so okay thank you so much for watching excuse the background messy artists at play right um i hope to see you guys soon and i'm gonna edit the videos they're gonna be stitched together it'll go really fast but this is the end result i'm gonna go take pictures thank you if you watch till the end hasta luego bye bye